Freddy cleaned you out, huh? Because my gloves are gone. Do you want you want like a dirt glove, or do you want something that's gonna be soft to the touch? I want something that you'll use. All right, I'll show you what I have. Yeah, Freddy. Freddy bought my bike. I thought. Yeah. Wait, which one? My race bike. Oh, he, that was the one. No, you, that's not the one you had. Yeah, the black and gold. Oh, he got a KTM 450. Uh, this is brother thing. Wait, was it the one that we rode? What's her break? That I was with you when you rode it. Yeah, the, the oh the red one. The red one. I have every single set of one of these. Yeah, I've the been looking one. at this, but the gold just makes me feel a little bit too much bougie. Well, man, you on the track? <laughs> yeah. Um, I also use these ones right here. If I wanted something a little bit, you know, on the rough side on the top, so when dirt comes and hits you in the hands, it hits this first. These are like my race gloves, so you can feel how thin that texture is right mm -hmm. here. I kind of like these, though. Um, Those are fly too. Oh, Maybe safety or rela reliability or f it, go all out. Go all out, bro. This <laughs> car is a hard decision right now. Shoot, you can match. Because they look, I'm getting the ones that look good. I'm yeah, sorry. Get those ones that look good. Dude. I think the large ones are the ones that fit me. Gloves. And they're expensive too, like 30 bucks. Right. Yeah, I'm a large. What do you guys think? Comment below. <laughs> I know I don't want people to get a 450 for the hype, you know? I yeah, want them to so be safe. So I'm gonna let a professional talk about the 450s and the pros and cons. Man, I don't, <laughs> I don't even ride a 450. You know, I'm pretty wild, so. Um, basically the difference is this, if you're a beginner rider, you definitely don't want to hop on a 450. The reason you don't want to hop on a 450 is because if you crack that throttle back, it's going to be a little bit too much sometimes to, you know, handle. 250 is going to be a good starter off bike for somebody that's learning how to ride. Something that's not going to snap back on you too quick. Something that's going to be easier to learn. Um, if you get on a 450, and I've seen this at the track before, I rec I don't recommend it, guys. Uh, guy literally just went up the face of a jump, never ridden a 450 in his life. I've never seen somebody try to do a double backflip at three palms before. It was insane. The guy got life flighted to the hospital and everything. It was just a disaster. So as far as it goes, I would listen to Omar. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to starting off on a 250 because that's what he did. He started off on a 250. It's actually the direction we pointed him to go. So we want to see a new rider get hurt hopping on a 450 the first thing they do. So it's always best to start off on a smaller bike and always work your way up from there. Unless it be a good throttle control from previous riding experience. Yeah, you can hop on a 450, but you got to have good throttle control and be mindful of all that power that's between your legs. Sometimes I do get that rip of people thinking that I'm hating. I usually just throw out facts and sometimes people don't like the truth. But every time I, if I talk shit about uh, Freddy or anybody, that's the homies right there. Like that's how we all bond. Uh, I will never talk to somebody I don't know because that's not the bond that I have. Like for me looking at you, it's like, boy, you suck. <laughs> nah, you don't suck. It's, yeah, actually he's better than me. It's, but for me, it's like, I just, I, I like to like tell people certain things. I like to inform them. Sometimes my words are harsh, but it's basically facts on my end. But for me, like talking to homies and stuff, that's just the way we bond and it's just fun because they do it to me, I do it to them. I just wanted to address that because a lot of people keep on assuming it and I know I'm gonna have to bring it up. So that's basically some information behind that certain thing and appreciate everybody that's been supporting me even though I go through this drama all the time and they see the struggles and they still support me so shout out to all you guys the real supporters shoot man you welcome here anytime hell yeah you man shit, I love this place I did buy my my bike here all right that's enough of me talking I got right. new gloves yes sir oh yeah shout out to you because you gave me gloves shoot man they're a little worn now but I was like hey Take it or leave it. And I was like, oh, I needed some gloves. I needed I gloves, man. I had an extra pair in the truck. I, I needed like, gloves. 
All right guys, uh, so I bought another part. I shouldn't have been here this long, but I decided to get something else for my bike. Uh, I have to change the piston later on though, but I bought something else. It wasn't that expensive, but I'm not gonna let you guys, I just wanna let you guys know. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys yet, but when the video comes out, you'll know. Uh, it's a surprise. Oh, it's a surprise, all right. I'm just tired of looking at it so much. I'll just give you that clue. Uh, when do you think it'll come? Probably about a week. About a week? All right, so about a week from now. I'm tired of it, like I really don't. I'm really tired of it. All right, appreciate it, man. Later, man. Oh, what are you doing? Shoot, man, I gotta get the door ready to live. <laughs> Nowhere. Well, this man really has Bluetooth or something on his truck. Do it. Let's hit it to the side one time. Oh, there you go. How you like me now? <laughs> All the, uh, the new wheels. So the ones that I was actually gonna get originally a while back for the C10, but then I saw the other ones and I didn't even know you had these at the time. We changed the tires. Well, one of the tires. I already got a new tire for this side. Yeah. Well, I was gonna go ride, but not anymore. Damn. make your tire wear out to the inside you know throws off your alignment boom then you have a flat that's how you know there's a guy because i'm still here <laughs> i got everything's all right everything's good yes sir all right guys so i'm gonna be myself and tell you guys that yeah i fuck up a lot of times yes i do stupid things yes i do this and that but that's how we all learn i usually learn the hard way like not leaving your boots in the back forgetting that they were there son of a I will. Still gonna ride though. Let's go ride. Of Houston. It was a little sketchy. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but it keeps moving away. So it hasn't like sprinkled him. Thank God my boots are not wet anymore. Cause I forgot the boots were in the back of the damn bed. Except today was like the only sunny day. Why do you keep falling on this track? I know it's dry and slippery, but you gotta squeeze that bike. And of course, I missed it again. What? Did you that? No. Damn, man! I wiped out so bad that the fing broke. Oh my gosh. I, I feel wondering. bad. Like, I hit that jump right there. Yeah. And like that one was perfect, but I forgot that this one was like a sharp turn and I gave it too much throttle. Bro. <laughs> I was wondering, you're like stretching your legs. I was like, did you pull your leg or something? Bro, they were like, are you okay? I was like, my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, yeah. I was like, I went too high and I was like, oh, I see this coming. Went straight down. And all I could feel was my nuts going inside my stomach. All right, yeah. let me go for it again. I felt real bad this time. I that did. hill was, uh, was in the way.
Look at that. Ah, it hurts. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it hurts. <laughs> At least I got got out of my system. Finally, like that was the first time I ever went up, and I, I started looking at it and be like, "This is the first time thinking like, damn, I'm too high." I'm <laughs> so as I hit down, boom! I was like good until I was getting close to the not a gate, but it was like a rope. I was like, I'm going there. Is either I hit the front brake, or I'm gonna turn into a shish kebab, bro. Uh uh, going straight down, hit my nuts. Nah, when I fell down was when I started hitting my nuts. When I hit down, I was like, oh, I'm good. And then the impact of the nuts started hurting. <laughs> somebody comes up, somebody comes up, hey, you okay, bro? I was like, I'm nuts, man. And he was like, ooh. I was like, yep. Then I get out. All right, go uh, do what you gotta do. Map two is great for this one, but map one is great for like the long one. Uh, a little bit. I don't know why I'm getting tired fast. Well, I can hit the ground, so I know why I'm tired. <laughs> Woo, it's fun though. It's humid out here. What time is it? We close at four. Man, I'm on this man's phone. Hello? I butt dialed his ass. Calancio, I, I butt dialed you. Calancio got to come out here. I'm the one that pushed him to get a dirt bike. Pushed, giving him videos and videos and videos, trailer videos of dirt bikes and such. El Gabancillo. We need that boy out here. I have a little face go problem put on.
we're riding. Perfect, perfect. Hi. What are you trying to do? I'd be like, next time you get in my way, bro, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have been honking at me. I wanted to. That would have been was funny. Like, we flowing so good, bro. These gloves are perfect for me. What are they? Just the ones that I got. The guys that I went to go get, bro. Like my other ones were like it was giving me blisters because it the it was. Good. I'm gonna cool down. It's about to be time to go, but. <laughs> We can go one more time. We I'm gotta down. go one more time. Because now it feels so on it, you know, like no mistakes. Well, I hit my ball one time. Can't yeah. lie, we have to ride one more time. We did, we were smooth sailing. We just <laughs> caught that on camera. I was trying to drink. <laughs> With the cap on? Three. We almost got whiskey throttle. <laughs> Maybe one time. There's some jumps that I didn't get right, but I'll keep practicing. Back in three pounds when I first went to ride, I went down hard. <laughs> I'm, I think I still have the clip. Here it is. You okay? I'm cool. Here, I'll hold your bike. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Yeah. I flipped the bike because there were so many people in front of me and it was so sandy. You no, know, now you know, right? You gotta go fast in sandy trees. The sand is so loose, you can't catch that much traction. We're going up a hill and we went down and it was a sharp turn and I hit the front brake. And let's just say that the boot saved my leg because it yeah, landed on my use foot. Front brake too. If you're gonna go dirt bike riding, I strongly recommend boots. If anything, boots and knee pads. So, uh, yeah, let's go ride for real, bro. One more. Um, a couple minutes. <laughs> it, it really wears you out. I did it before, <laughs> and I was too embarrassed of myself, so I was like, nah, I had so many clips. I started my channel for a racing channel. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. 
I love my little horn. It was like Herbie pulling Lolly. That was fun. Well High five is the ending. Woohoo! Woohoo! When I landed, it was a little rough, so that's when I was like, all right. <laughs> I know you were going for three. All right, guys. Keep you on the next. Hope you liked it. Bye. Little hat?